Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about tra trapdoor one-way function. This is the concept which we are going to use in asymmetric key cryptography. And in our previous class, we clearly discussed some basic idea about asymmetric key cryptography. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So, if you don't get good idea about this class, forget about it. Just move on to the next class because we are going to use this and we do multiple one example in our coming classes so that you are going to get good idea about this concept. So before that, if you understand this, it is very, very easy to follow the next classes. So try to understand if it is not possible, it's okay. You can leave it. So trapdoor one-way function means the main idea of asymmetric key is using this trapdoor one-way function. First, we need to understand what is meant by one-way function. One-way function means given x, y is equal to f of x can be easily computed. But the opposite, if x, if y is given, finding x equal to f inverse y is difficult to compute. This type of functions we call it as one-way functions. What is meant by easily computed? We can easily compute it in a polynomial time. We can compute it. It is difficult to compute. It means it is going to take exponential time for computing the x is equal to f inverse y. In order to identify x, f inverse y is computed in a exponential time where exponential time means it is never going to end we will never get the output these type of functions we call it as a one-way functions in our previous classes we clearly discussed the concept of exponential and logarithms these are one-way functions because y is equal to x power k mod n we can easily find this using fast exponential algorithm means we can do this in polynomial time if x is given and k is given, it is easy to identify y using x power k mod n. But the opposite, if y is given, finding x is very, very difficult. It is going to take exponential time because we need to apply logarithms here. There we did not mention the, we did not go deep into the mathematics. In order to find the logarithms, we need to identify the roots of this equation then for that roots you need to apply the logarithm table that is what we need to do which is an exponential time algorithm for large n values so this exponential and logarithms works as a one-way function now we need to understand what is meant by trapdoor one-way function means it is a one-way function y is equal to f of x x is equal to f inverse of y but by giving a trap door means there is a secret using that secret we can easily find the inverse also means we can do it in polynomial time this f inverse y can be computed in a polynomial time if that secret is given this secret we call it as private key in asymmetric key cryptography in our last class, we discussed private key and public key. This is not going to be shared outside. Okay, so is our exponential and logarithm works as a trapdoor function? Yes, it is going to work as a trapdoor one-way function. Let's take y is equal to x power k mod n. x is equal to y power k inverse mod n. Here k inverse is the secret which is maintained at the receiver side. That is what we call it as private key. You, if you are having this k inverse, that secret, if you are having that, you can easily find x using y. This is what we call it as trapdoor, means secret. So our exponential and logarithm works as a trapdoor one-way function. This is the concept which we are going to use in our asymmetric key cryptography, which we are going to discuss our first example on RSA algorithm in our coming classes, next class. 
hope you understand what trapdoor function means trapdoor one way function means if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you